now as you can see i've come to the end of this tutorial this is what i finally achieve can you see so beautiful it's something simple it's not very it's not uh, difficult to make all you need to do like i say is to watch my tutorial to the end and that is the reason why i'm very slow at it just for especially for the beginners so that they can pick easily thanks for watching till we meet again bye for now good day everyone you welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how i actually achieved this beautiful um kid baby girl shoe it's a very nice one can you see and it's very simple to make all you need to do if you have not subscribed to my channel you subscribe to my channel you like my videos and share my videos as well in this tutorial you will learn how i actually achieve this so we are going to start now i have my yarn here so i shall be making use of two strand so it depends on the size of the shoe you want to make but for this particular one the sole i actually changed 16 16 so right now i'm going to change 16 now i'm going to make a stitch knot can you see then i bring it out like so then i insert my crochet hook and make sure it is very tight but you see my crochet hook can roll in between so right now i'm going to make 16 chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, then 16. Now, I haven't made the 16 chain, as you can see. So, I'm going to yarn it over. And I'm going to insert into the second loop. This is the first one, but I'm inserting into the second loop a part of the second loop. Can you see? I'm inserting into it. Then I'm going to make double crochet. Can you see? Then I yarn it over into the next loop. So I will be making double crochet into the next 15, into the next 15 or 14 loops. Double crochet into the next 14 loop. This is second two. I mean this is one two so three double crochet three four
five. So till I get to the 14th one, can you see? I'm going to make it like that till I get to the 14th one. As you can see, we have come to the 14th one. Can you see? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I haven't come to the 14th one. So we now insert the last into six we're going to insert six into the 15th one this is the 15th can you see i'm going to make double crochet six double crochet or five five double crochet into this 15th one one One, two, two, three, three. Four. Then the fifth one now. Five. Sorry. Five. We have made five double crochet into the fifteenth one. Then we continue from there. So we are going to chain. This is one. Then we continue from there. And you see. Start here. One, we have one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. So we continue six. Seven, eight, nine, sorry, nine. You see here ten eleven twelve thirteen. Ten, 
said team. Fourteen. So in this 14, we are going to make we are going to make five double crochet in this place, this same hole. Okay, in this same hole here, we are making five. We've made one, two, three. Four, then five. Haven't made this five, then we are going to continue from there. One, two, three, Four, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, so having come to the fifteen, fifteenth, then we make, you know, we made five the other time, each of the five each of the loops of the five we are going to make two double crochet in each of the loops so we are going to start we are making two double crochet in each of this loop here this is one two this is one into the same loop there Now, having done two crochet, uh, double, two double crochet into each of the five loops. Now, 
I'm going to do double crochet into the next 14 loops here. So I have well, the first one, double crochet. into the next 14 so this is two till I get to the 14th one now I've completed the next 14 on um, double crochet the next thing right now is to do each two double crochet in each of these five loops here two crochet in each so one and you see in the same loop So, having completed the two double crochet in each of the five loop, I'm going to slip stitch right now in this one here. So, I slip stitch. Can you see? So we have completed our sole for this shoe. Can you see? This is the back. Can you see? So right now we are going to com continue with the sole, the first layer of the body. So I've chain one. I've chain one here. Can you see? Let me bring it out. I've chain one. Can you see? So I'm going to yarn it over and insert into the the back loop, not the front one here. Okay. I will insert into the back loop. Can you see? Into this back loop. Then double crochet then I yarn it over can you see I yarn over and into the next one this is the next one here can you see double crochet can you see so I yarn it over the next one from the back till I completed or till I complete this first round can you see double crochet Can you see this is what I'm trying to explain where I have so this is what we are doing right now that look like a saw can you see so that is what I'm trying to drive out so that is how I'm going to do it all around I yarn it over again I insert into the next one Can you see till I complete it double crochet now 
now having come to the end as you can see the next thing right now is to slip stitch okay now I'm going to slip stitch can you see This is what we have. Can you see? So, I'm going to cut this off and start with another yarn. So, Right now, I'm going to start with another yarn, the white color. So, so right now, I'm going to start from the back. Can you see the loop? Can you see? I've chained one, then I yarn it over, double crochet, double crochet. Yarn it over like so, all through. All through. So like so, as you can see here, we are left with one loop. So I've yarn it over, and you see. So I'm going to make a double crochet into that loop. Can you see? Double crochet. So right now we are going to slip stitch. So I'm going to slip stitch right here. I've made a slip stitch. So, the next thing now 
is to continue i've chained one can you see i've chained one so we are going to continue from there again double crochet here we are inserting here double crochet like that double crochet so till we finally come to this edge here I hope you can see so we have almost got to the end of the tail so we are left with one we have completed it rather so right now I'm not going to yarn it over like this I'm going to slip stitch him right away now I'm going to slip stitch here Can you see? So I've slip stitch. So right now, the next thing I shall be doing, can you see? This is what we have. So now I shall be making my counting right from the front part here. So I'm going to count 12 on each side, both right and the left side. I'm going to count 12 chains. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, we, or we can make it 11. So, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is our 11. Then I'm going to use a stitch marker to demarcate that place. So I'm going to demarcate that place. So also on the other part here, I'm going to count that same 11. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then 11. I have my 11th year. So I'm going to demarcate with a stitch marker 
or even your yarn so we are going to continue from where we stop so remember I've made one chain I made one chain here so we are going to continue I yarn it over then I make double crochet in each loop till we get to that point where we make a demarcation with a stitch marker The reason why I'm slow this way is especially for the beginners so that you can catch up with us. So we're going to continue till we get to this point here. Now, as you can see here, we are left with one chain before we finally get to our stitch where we make a demarcation so double crochet in that last one so right now we are going to start our reduction so I've yarned it over, can you see? Then I insert and I bring it out, can you see? Then I yarn it over now into the second loop. This is the second loop. Then I bring it out. Then I finally bring we have one two three four five chains here so i'm going to finally bring it out can you see so we're going to continue i yarn it over i insert into the next loop I yarn it over again and you see I bring it out yarn it over into the next one I have five one two three four this is four there is an omission there so i'm going to start all over i will yarn it over i insert into this loop then i yarn it over i bring it out i yarn it over again into the next loop then i bring it out so we have five one two three four in five then i finally bring it out can you see so that is how we are going to do our reduction till we get to the next one here so
So as, as you can see, we are left with two loops. This is one, then two. So we are going to yarn it over, still on that reduction. Into this last loop. And we'll bring it out. Then we continue our double crochet in each of the remaining loops. The fact that this tutorial is very slow is because of the beginners, especially those that want to know how to crochet. So you don't need to rush so that they can understand easily and uh, in a very simple way. So that is why it's being slow this way. So if you have not subscribed to my channel and you are interested in how to crochet, subscribe to my channel so that and always put on your notification bell so that each time i release a new video you can have access to it now we have come to the last one so we are going to slip stitch right now so i'm going to slip stitch here So, then you see, so you can see what we have achieved. So, we are not true yet. So we are going to make another one. We are making another round. So we are going to continue from there. So I've chained one. So I'm going to make double crochet in the next loops. Till I get to where we will start our reduction, exactly what we did just now. I'm going to make double crochet till we get to this point here. As you can see, we are left with one chain, which is here, before we start our reduction. So, double crochet in that last chain. Then, we start our reduction. This time around, just watch I've yarn it over then I insert here can you see I'm making it four this time around one two three four then I bring it out Then I make double crochet in the next loop. Double crochet in the next loop. Can you see? So I continue my reduction. Four. Can you see? Unlike the first one where we have five chain on the loops, this one is four. 
Just look at it critically and follow the process. Unless I forget, if, if you are interested in my tutorial and then you have question bothering you about my tutorial, always feel free to drop your question in the comment section and it will be attended to. So, the reduction, we continue. One, two, three, I insert. So it must be four here. So I bring it out. So till we get to, to this place, can you see? So having got to the the other part so we are going to make double crochet in the next loops till we get to the one at the back double crochet Till we get to the back here. Till we get here. Now, having, having gone to the hand here, so we are going to slip stitch. So, so right now the next thing we shall be doing right now let me bring this out now we are going to count seven chain so to the back i'm going to count seven chain so one two three four five six this is one two three four five six seven can you see seven chain then seven also there seven one one two three four five six seven i have it there so i'm going to put a mark So then I'm going to count seven from the back to this place. So I made my demarcation. So right now I'm going to start I'm going to insert my hook 
and I bring this out and you see so I'm going to bring out one chain then I turn it this way then I yarn it over and I make double crochet in each of the loops till I get to the other point where we demarcated So that's how we are going to go till we get to this point here to this very point where we have placed our stitch marker now as you can see we have got to that point where we use our stitch marker to demarcate so right now i'm going to chain 18 I will chain 18. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, till I get to 18, 5. So I'm going to chain it. Now, as you can see, I've chained 18. So I'm going to yarn. Then I insert into the the sixth loop one two three i'm going to skip five one two three four five then into the sixth loop then i make my double crochet then i continue from there double crochet till i get back to this place this one here is serving as the button hole so double crochet So this is how I'm going to make my double crochet till I get back to this edge here. So can you see, I've got to this edge, so I'll be making it round till I get to the other end here. Double crochet. 